Hey everyone, Josh, Fresh Run Fishing. Uh, about a week ago I put a tutorial up on how we paint our perch jig heads. And tonight we're going to actually tie that jig. So we painted the head. We used a little sparkle kind of black color on top. We used a orangish color on the bottom, like a perch. And then a transparent yellow that I mix up on my own uh, just to make it a little bit more darker to kind of match the perch colors. We're using a 3D walleye head here with the eye socket in. We've already glued the eyes in and coated them so they stay on. Uh, tonight we're going to show you how we tie the jig. So we'll get our vise set up. Be right in the way of my face. You don't want to see my ugly mug anyways. And these are on a half ounce jig. We're using a Danville 210 denier flat wax thread in red tonight. And I think that kind of goes good with the orange and maybe a little hot spot color for the fish. So we're gonna get this collar going first. Bang that out quick. And I use a little bit more thread on this base wrap of the collar on these style of jigs because there's such a big precedent bump. I used to squish those down with pliers, um, but now I kind of leave it as is. So we're going with three colors tonight. We're going to have an orange. We're going to have a kind of loose, transparent-ish yellow. And then instead of black, a lot of guys like to use black on their perch. Uh, I use an olive. So right here, this jig, when it's going through the water, is going to be upside down like this. You're going to have the olive up here, transparent in the middle, and then the orange on the bottom, just like a perch would kind of look. We're going to tie this in a few parts, and I'll show you how I do it. I take the olive first. And there's my pinch, that's a big pinch. And I'm gonna thin that out and save the rest for the next jig. So to thin it out, I grab by the top, pull from the bottom. So here's what I'm gonna use on j this jig. Here's my scrap I'll use on the next jig. Maybe I'll have to add a little more, not sure yet. And we got a pinch about that size. So I'm gonna try to take this pinch and get it even on both sides. I'm gonna measure up. I measure up on my vise. I got marks that measure up. I'm taking everything, cutting it, and I have a waste basket right under my feet when I tie. So that's falling into the waste basket under my feet. I'm gonna take this, I'll wrap one or two slight wraps, and then I'll kind of even it out a little. I'm going to flip the jig back up facing me. And I like the length of it. It's actually a little long. And I never like to cut bucktail, but I had a few hanging out, which I had to. So, that's going to be the darker color on the bottom. We wrapped it in twice, loose and a few times tight. Now we're going to take the yellow and we grabbed a little bit of a bigger pinch. And we're going to thin that out again. Grab by the top, grab and loose on the bottom. I pull, thin it out. So most of my hairs are pretty even. I'll take a few and pluck them out. Then I'll measure up, get the same length as that green or uh, olive that we have on the bottom or actually the top of the jig. I'm going to put this here loose, very loose right now. I'm going to try to figure it out. And that's actually going perfectly where I need it to be. And I'm going to hammer it down a few times tight. And that's it. 
Now, when I tie jigs, I don't like them to flare out and be super puffy. Um, that's kind of the style I tie for most of my jigs. I try to make them look a little natural. So I'm just thinning out another pinch of that yellow. Any of the scrap I put in the pinch that I had before, which I tied into the side that you guys can see. Now I'm going to tie it into this back side that's facing me. So I got the pinch, I measure it up, measure it up, right there, it's perfect, and I'm cutting. And as I've said before, I'm not using uh, fly tying shears or anything fancy. I'm using more of a barber shear or kitchen shear because they're much better at cutting bucktail than some fly tying shears are. So you see this jig's laying nice and flat. Nothing's puffing up big. And now on the top, we got to add our orange. And we're just going to add a tiny, tiny bit of that orange. Super skinny. I'll get the long hairs out, which I'm doing right now. Measure up. Perfect. Cut these off at the end. And I'll tie that orange in. A couple loose. Hammer one or two home. And I'm going to finish this whole collar up right now on this wrap. And that collar's done. We got one hair that looks a little... Nope. It was just a loose one. And that's going to be our perch imitator jig, basically. So now we got a whip finish the collar. I'm using a whip finish tool. This one does not work great with these heads when the eyes are glued in, but so I got to go super slow motion so I'm not catching the thread on the eyes that are exposed. And then, once I get my thread base down, I take it and I move it around a little, up and down, and it doesn't make the collar too ugly. And it kind of bites down in there and strengthens the bite of uh, the collar into that, into that hair. Now I'm going to take a head cement. I got one set aside. I put them in uh, an applicator bottle with a brush, kind of like a a nail painter brush, if, that like your wife wife might have to uh, do her nails. And I'm just gonna coat that with the head cement on both sides. And we got one thing left to do, and that's add stripes. So we got the olive right here on the bottom, which will be the top of the jig. Perch is back, which is darker, that kind of transparent yellow, a little fluorescent in it, and then the orange. And we're just going to take a Sharpie to add the stripes. A lot of people lay their jigs down adding stripes. I found that this is probably the easiest way. I pull the hair tight. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And there is our perch jig. Take it off the vise for you. Get to check it out a little. So you see, you got that. A little darker color, and the transparent, and then the orange on the bottom. Beautiful jig for catching walleye.